No, uh oh. It's a little too dark to see anything right now. Better stay inside and play some video games until it gets light again. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go walk casually through the force field, which really isn't much of a force field if you think about it. <laughs> I think it's actually more of a way to shroud the renovations that happened to Peach's castle here. And yeah, they changed the dialogue from Mario to Luigi. Of course. <laughs> anyway, let's start the first level, Peach's Castle dash, dash 1, Magma Moat. I'm pretty sure you know what kind of level this is going to be. Yeah, it's got lava. And there's meteors, that can't be good. But there are Koopas that I can run face first into. And I'm going to... Oh. Oh. Oh, obviously I can't get that coin very easily without a sh the assistance of a shell. That's what I was aiming to do there. Alright, retry. This time I will hopefully be victorious. And I'm pretty sure that those meteors are um, uh, randomized for the most part, so you can't really expect them to be at the same place each time in a way that you can like run through a level sort of way, uh, sort of way once you have it memorized. I'm not sure how worth it it is to get these. Uh, maybe not that worth it. <laughs> I was kind of close, though. I was kind of close. Wait a second. Mm. Mm. Just wanted to check that. All right, let's move on. And... There better be something to protect me in there. <laughs> I hate when there's when they force me to go near the ceiling when something could fly out from where the ceiling is randomly. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is... Oh, no, no. Just need... Well, fine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's something up there that requires... Hmm... Owl poopers. Well... Ah, I can get that later, because this level has two exits. In fact, it has the last secret exit in the game, so... Rejoice, I suppose. Um... Um... Yo! And now I gotta do a retry because, well, not a retry, a replay because, as I said, there's a secret exit in there. Plus, there's a coin missing from there. I'm pretty sure they're both on that uh, the path that I was going to take above those uh, blocks that I kind of fumbled around with and took too long. I should have just uh, taken a hit and just ran for it, but mm, I don't know. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I'm just kind of wanted to do it the safe way, I guess you could say. I'm going to try and go for the lower ones first. This oh, poopers. This time, well, even so, it still can be a little bit tight. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you can do that consistently, considering the meteors are in your way greatly. <laughs> well, I should say they can be in your way greatly. All right, here we are. Power up. Let's go. And run, 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 run. There we go. There's a pipe. And inside this pipe contains a couple of jumps to... Oh, this wasn't where the coin was. Hmm. Oh, I know where it is. It wasn't on this path. It was at a heavily blocked section later on in the level. Just a little bit past the point I was just at. And I'll cut over to that just as soon as you see the end of that little cutscene. There we go. Past this section is what I'm talking about. Just a little bit past it. You go over to this right here. Okay, see all these blocks? I would like the meteors to carve me a path, if that's not too much to ask. If you don't mind, please, thank you. I just need to get into that area, basically. Come on, guys. You can randomly spawn... Can I break through? Oh, I can break through this manually. I thought they were going to be like the other ones. There we go. That's how you get the coin to appear. Can I get it over the top? Yes, I can. Now I just got to safely make it to the end. And the coin will be mine. And it is mine. Woo! Uh, the secret exit path is, once again, another kind of level that is not... Uh, I, I don't want to say numbered. Um, 
named with some sort of enemy or something like that. Uh, I'll, I'll show you the number of the level here. If you go over to the side, it is dash four. And of course, I do them in numerical order, so that one's gonna have to wait until later. And let's go to Peach's Castle dash two, Magma River Cruise. Let's do this. Uh oh, Death Cloud behind us. Must survive, must keep things off. Doom. Oh, wait a second. Isn't there something up? Yes, there is. Okay. Just have to jump up there and it appears. Any suspicious ledges, any suspicious holes, go right to them. Hopefully, this will not give me as much problems as the raft, se oh! raft segments of other levels gave me in certain other new Super Mario Brothers U games. If you catch my drift, oh, that coin is going to be a pain to get, isn't it? <laughs> go away. I, I know I need a shell, but another one's coming. Uh, okay, let's just boop, boop, and throw it off the edge. No, I missed it. Well, I can still get to the end to the end of the level. Uh, you don't even need the raft for the rest of this. Actually, it's kind of kind of funny how they designed this. That you can just go like so, and oh no, not gonna happen. <laughs> and wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh. You are a friendly platform. Extendo platform helps me get over to the goal. And gotta retry it again, of course. But uh, you can tell how to get that second coin. It's just kind of a pain to get, <laughs> if that's not obvious. All right, here we are. Needless to say, those uh. uh Fire guys are not blargs, but they're magma are uh, magmas, excuse me. Okay. Oh, actually, that stopping the raft there would help quite a bit. Um, <laughs> the micro goombas there, if they latch onto you, they make it hard for you to move and jump. So you got to be careful of that. Wait, where is? Get off me! You can spin them off you by doing that, and I did not have another Koopa spawn, so that's unfortunate. You know what would probably be easier? Using an acorn power-up. <laughs> I think that would be greatly easier, so that's what I've got here. Well, it's actually a pea acorn. But all I have to do here is... Whoop! Like that. <laughs> yeah, that just trivializes things. Otherwise, you would have to throw a shell into it. Oh! Aww. Now, I must show my victory on this level. If it's going to be a victory. I hope it's going to be a victory. Get off my raft. And I don't think I really want that. As I said, I'm not going to be using or uh, be abusing the P acorns. I'm just going to be using them as if they were a normal uh, acorn. So yeah. Even so, normal acorns are still pretty powerful. Yeah. And another level has been defeated. There aren't that many levels in uh, Peach's Castle, actually in comparison to other levels, so this world is probably going to go by pretty dang quickly. Peach's Castle Dash 3, Hot Cogs, let's start. Actually, we've already started, so that was kind of misleading. Um, <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 that's what I thought. I was going to say, I think I have to wait on that first gear to make sure I don't miss the coin that's on it, and I did not, and let's, oh, oh, oh okay. I was going to say, I thought there was a path underneath there. Aha! Oh ho. By the way, you can tell when someone's using a P acorn as opposed to a regular acorn because it, it also changes your uh, character's colors to fire flower colors. Whoa! Glad I was on top of the, the tippy top of the Yo! Wow! Thank you for saving me, P acorn. <laughs> Much appreciated. Um, what? I mean, I. I can get through that if I take a hit, but getting through that via timing would be practically impossible. Yeah. <laughs> what are we Oh, freeze them. That's right. You can freeze portal booze. Oh, oh dear. No! My run is shot! Well, you know where the three coins are now. <laughs> that was a pretty good uh, first run there. Alright, let's do it without the P or acorn now, I suppose. Wait around for getting my butt burned. <laughs> that did not work at all. 
I was a little bit too late on my jump there. I should have waited for the cog to go back around. Alright, I'll just maybe I'll just wait here. It seems like it seems like a relatively safe thing to do is yeah, that's that's a better way to do it. Rather than jump back then forward because I because I get to retain my uh, forward momentum then. Um, oh I overjumped a little. And the the coins are in such easy locations overall that I'm kind of surprised I'm having this much issue on this level because I knew their locations ahead of time and whatnot. So, <laughs> like that, all I had to do was wait for the Poto Boo to pass. But no, no, I had to jump for it. So, because that was apparently a very good idea to have. <laughs> all right, Poto Boo. There you go. And I'll, I'll just let you fly free through the air. Well, you're not really flying. You're you're hopping through the lava. Hey, what's in these things? No, oh. <laughs> it's hiding a Luigi. There we go. There's two. Mm, anything in, of importance in there? What if I need to go and get a nice power up for that trickster coin? near the other area. You know, this one. Yep. And now, you can do it the real way! Because you can clear all potoboos like that. <laughs> or, you, you know, you can you can escape like that, but I mean, they're guarded by those potoboos. It is actually possible to slip through them without a power-up, you know, killing them. But it's very, very difficult to do so. Oh, no! <laughs> Almost lost my footing. But I made it. All right, now let's go back over to the level off to the right there. I'm actually gonna have to backtrack through the map though to do this because the pathway isn't open just yet. Mm, here we are, Peach's Castle da Dash Four Firefall Rising. This will be the last level I'm playing this part, and we got these appearing and disappearing blocks basically through uh, through certain portions of the level. Uh, wait a second, isn't there... Oh, what was that little leg? I've seen it on my... Uh, shoot, the gamepad, but I didn't... You might, you might not have seen it on the... Of, oh! Oh! Maybe that's what I was thinking of. That was a secret around this area. Mm, oh, there's Luigi there. If you didn't see that, it's right there. Hmm, what might this be? A shortcut? A long cut? Seems like a shortcut. Oh! Let's see, where did I miss? That, oh, was that just like a, a, a side route to show you that's where the platforms come and go? That's interesting. <laughs> Maybe that's not the secret thing that I was thinking of? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, there is the first star coin. It was fun to mess around there, but now I'm, I'm kind of low on time here. So let's get a move on and groove on. Mm, there's star coin number two. And you can pretty much feel out the timing of the blocks as they're relatively even overall, except maybe this one might be tricky. <laughs> and that's the last one. Now let's hurry to the end of the stage. It's a pretty so uh, pretty short stage, but it's got some tricky jumps to it. I could have used those blocks to get to the end. Of, I mean, to get up to the flagpole, but I would just like to ensure that I keep my power ups and stuff like that, so to speak. It's not like I need more lives. I mean, come on now! <laughs> and this path leads over to the front door. Um, oh, I, I can actually show you the map of this place. There's actually only two levels left to this area. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.